All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be creating the geometry for the right side of the part, which is going to be the geometry right here and the little circles that are in the center there and also the circle that is right down in the center over here. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, what I want to do is create a second level to create my right side geometry on. So come over here under levels and we're going to go down to number and we're going to change number one to number two. Once you do that, come over here and select under name and you will notice that second level is now created. So you're not really changing the number, you're actually creating a new level. All right. And as you can see, you have level two active by that check mark. We're going to call this right geometry. All right. So now that we've done that, because you are on level number two and you have it active, you're able now to make any other level invisible. And we're going to go ahead and check the X over here to make level one invisible. So now we are on level two and any geometry we create is going to be on level number two. So go back to toolpath and now let's go back to view and we're going to select the right side over here here and under right side, make sure Y and Z is what you can view and you're ready to create geometry on the right side. Now let's go back to our drawing and go over what we'll be doing real quick. So first I know that I need to create a circle here and a circle here all the way around. One circle has a radius of a quarter of an inch. The other one has it of 0.25 in diameter. So really one of them is 0.25 radius. The other one is 0.125 in radius. Now the best way for me to connect those is actually drawing a polygon. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a polygon and show you how to do that. All right. And one other thing you need to know is that from this center of one of my circles, which is really both of them to the center of my part is one and a half inches. So this is a radius. If I draw a circle from here, that's going to be the radius of 1.5. I'm going to minimize my part and get started by coming over here under wireframe and selecting under rectangle polygon. So this is your polygon feature. If it's the first time you're opening it up, you're going to notice that it probably looks similar to this. All right. So go ahead and select the expand dialog over here. And we want six sides to this polygon. The reason for that is because I want to create six circles, one, two, three, four, five, six. And basically each edge of the polygon is going to be the center of each of these circles. So that's the reason for me to draw these circles. All right. So go ahead and minimize that. So first I'm going to go ahead and select over here under the radius 1.5. And now you have an option to select either corner or flat. Now, after you type in the 1.5, go ahead and select the center over here and your polygon is placed. Now it's not completed until you select apply or okay. Now, few things we need to change. Now there's a thing called corner over here and a flat flat simply means that your radius over here is touching the flat part of the polygon corner, meaning your corner is touching the basically the corner of your polygon is touching the radius over here. So we want to make sure corner is selected. Also, we want to make sure that one of our corners is straight upward. If you notice in our drawing that one of my circles is straight upward. So I need to make sure that my polygon is straight upward. All right. So to do that, I need to rotate this 30 degrees. I already know that this has six corners. So six corners, meaning if I take 360 degree circle, and divided by six, it will give me 60 degrees. So half of that, if I'm only rotating it just for it to be right here, it's going to be 30 degrees. So come over here under rotation and select 30. Once you do that, it will update and you will see your polygon rotate 30 degrees. Go ahead and select. Okay. So now that I have that done, go ahead and zoom in a little bit and let's go ahead and create my two circles, select circle point, And I'm going to change my first one to 0.125 select enter and you can either place a circle on all the corners or just go ahead and leave that circle there. Change the radius to 0.25 and select apply and okay. And then go back and change it to 0.125 because all we've done is actually change that small circle to the big circle. So now place a second circle and make sure to press. Okay. Now that I have both big and small circle, go ahead and come over here under transform and select rotate. So we're going to select one and two and select end selection. And we're going to rotate those two circles five more times around. Now this is going to depend if you use angles between or total sweep. 
So for angles in between, you only need to use five circles. And we're going to say it is 60 degrees in between each of them. So that means you are copying the first one, one, two, three, four, and five times. The difference between angles between and total sweep is that for the total sweep, all you have to do is define the entire diameter, which is going to be 360 degrees or the entire circle. And you will state that you want this six times. All right. Because you want six circles basically all around your part. All right. Now, if you go five times, you'll notice that they will change and the circles are not quite where they need to be. And all that would does is basically take 360 degrees and divide it by six. All right. So we're going to change this back to six to make sure that we have six features all the way around. So we're going to keep it at rotate and you don't care about direction over here because if you flip directions, it's going to stay the same. This is only helpful if you actually change it to number four, for example, and make it angles in between, make it 60 degrees. For example, now that you have four, if you change one direction or the other, you will notice that there is a difference. But since you are using 360 degrees and you're also using total sweep, and six, it does not make a difference if you go left or right. And then go ahead and select OK. So there we go. We have created the both circles all around my part. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and delete your polygon. You don't need your polygon anymore. So go ahead and select the whole polygon and delete it. Next thing I want to do is go to wireframe and under circle, there's an option called circle edge points. Select it, select two point tangents. This way, whenever you select two references over here, which is the two circles, it will basically select a tangent or basically give you options to select all the tangent points in between those two circles for you to select the best one from there. So go ahead and select this circle and this circle, and you should get these two options. Now you should get these two options only if you didn't change the radius. So I'm going to go ahead and select escape and now go back to my drawing. To figure out what is the radius over here and I have it right there radius of one inch so go back to your drawing right here and change the radius to one and now you will see a lot more options you want to select this circle right here it's the solid option that you have selected and select it right there and then select OK so now what I need to do is go to my trim and I'm going to trim the rest of the circle out of here so make sure divide delete is selected come over here delete this section and delete this section right there and then select OK. Now I'm going to take this and copy it all around my part. So again, go to transform and select rotate, select this right there and then select and selection. And now what I need to do is copy this. We're going to use the angles in between this time. We're going to use 60 degrees and we're going to copy this five more times. Make sure it says five over here. And that's all there is to it. So go ahead and select apply and OK. And there you go. Go back now to home and select clear colors. And let's go ahead and trim the rest of the parts of the circles that we don't need. So come over here under wireframe and select trim break extend. Make sure divide delete is selected and go ahead and zoom in a little bit and go ahead and trim one. And there's two parts that you need to trim from each one. The bottom, make sure that you only see this part whenever you're trimming there you go and then there's a little part right there I will zoom in to the last few so you can see them a little bit better I'm gonna go ahead and move my part down so I can see it better and that little section right there is what you need to trim too so you'll trim one section and another I'm gonna go back to my view fit the screen and then zoom in right here all right so trimming this part in this section, this part, in this section. Again, fit the screen and I will zoom in right here, right there, and here you go. So there we've go, we've completed the right side view. The only thing left is that circle right down the center. So that's very easy, go back to your drawing. That circle right there has a diameter of 0.5. So go ahead and minimize that, and then go to your wireframe, circle, and draw a circle here change the diameter to 0.5 and there's your circle and this concludes drawing the geometry for the right side of my part